but there are still big challenges ahead before businesses can reopen this weekend. With us now is Oran Vardi, the owner of Pro Team Fitness in Kfar Saba. Uh, thank you so much for being with me, Oran. It's one thing to say you can reopen on Sunday. It's another to be able to actually do it. Will you be able to reopen your gym on Sunday or are there challenges too great? Um, first of all, thanks for having me. Um, but we won't be able to reopen on Sunday. Um, the situation is very complicated because you, they just, you just said there's not enough people that has uh, vaccinated twice and have a green passport and can come and we can be able to operate our business and uh, all the training. Um, my staff is only half vaccinated, so I don't have the staff to work on Sunday. Um, I think the, it's, it's very, first of all, we're very, very happy that we can see the light in the end of all uh, this situation, bizarre situation where we need to uh, train our uh, trainees outside in the cold and be like, wait to see if the weather will be okay for outside practice. But we will have to continue with it because we can't open with only half the clients that can come in. Do you think it's we fair, the, do you, these rules, that gyms can only be open for those who had two vaccine shots and are a week after the second shot, those are not the same rules for malls. Do you think it's fair to gyms? Eventually, yes, because everyone needs to get vaccinated, eventually, okay? I have my clients, my trainees asked me if people with no vaccine will enter. It's a very uh, strange uh, situation. I, I'm not comparing myself to the mall, because in the mall you have... Um, uh, pharmacies that have to be open or groceries like supermarkets that are vital for everyone. So they can't do um, a, a good selection who can come in. Our clients are the same clients. I mean, they come here twice, three, four times a week. We know them and it's easier to control who is vaccinated and who is not. Um, the situation is that from Sunday, our landlord and all the bills are going to come down yeah. and the support, support from the government will stop. But we have like at least three, four weeks before we will be able to work 100% inside and all our clients will come in. Yeah, Oran, I want to ask, can I ask you about, I mean, one thing that's that seems to be a unique and special challenge for gyms. I mean, all these other kinds of businesses tried to get around the rules however they could. Uh, they were clever. If you couldn't have, uh, if you could have takeout, restaurants would do it. If it was delivery only, they would deliver literally to the street corner or around the door. They would do that. They would count that as a delivery, that kind of thing. There's no real way to get around a gym being closed. You guys were really, really hard hit. Um, the gyms, first of all, my place is a studio for group training. It's a bit different. We can take our group and work outside. It's not ideal, because we have no equipment, but still can do something. Gyms were closed like two, more than 240 days than the past year. And in July, we all, we all, our, uh, we all suffered and open and reopen. There was a situation in July where they said, "Okay, gym closed and studio can be opened," and then week after the studio also closed, and a week after everyone can open. In the meantime, I, I even got a, a fine, five thousand shekel fine, um, because we didn't understand the situation when if we can open or re or be closed. The gyms. Um, they suffered a vital strike, um, and now the green the green uh, 
the direction says only green passport, and the purple direction, what we had in the summer, say um, one person for each seven or 10 square meters, and um, like hygiene corners, and lots of, lots of, lots of rule. Yeah. And they want to uh, make us put like a very big um, a circulation uh, system, which is very expensive. And small places like myself would not be able to, to purchase because we didn't work for the past year like we should. Yeah. So the situation is, is, is very, very troubled. And there is a, a lot of going around and behind the scenes to do, to, to ask for, from the government to see with us eye to eye to try and uh, support us in this meantime. Uh, that we can work but can't eventually work because a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of uh, uh, places will collapse because if I'm a train trainer that has my vaccine twice, I want to go and train. And if your gym can't open, I'll cancel my uh, uh, friendship in your gym and I will go to the other gym that has more power, big gyms more uh, in funding and yeah. then oh and they will open and I will go there